From what I was being told, I knew it was most likely going to be a difficult recovery, but I believed for another 20 hours that he was going to be okay. I was planning on going to the hospital in a few days to visit Justin, hang out with him, and help him through this, just as he's always helped me with whatever I needed and whatever I was going through. The night after the shooting, I was sat in my room alone. There wasn't a future that didn't have Justin in it. He was going to get better, and he was going to continue to tease me. He was going to go to prom with us. He was going to graduate and walk across the stage. Probably brag about all his honors and rewards that he was going to get. We were going to celebrate it. He was going to be there for our last summer before college. Swimming, bowling, having yeah, fun so, players, taking photos. Um, and after that experience in college and making years oh, of memories. Still? From the day I met Justin, I knew I wanted to be his friend. And as I got to know him, he became more than just a friend. He became family. I knew he was going to be in nice my life guy. for years to come. I just didn't know it was only going to be as a memory. He yeah, wasn't able to didn't. finish his senior year. He wasn't able to go to prom or graduate. I'm it was ripped from him all yeah, in, in one of the most horrific and gruesome ways possible. I dream of what could have been. I have vivid nightmares of what, have hap what has happened and what could happen. Yeah, give, if myself and my classmates were gone down in that high thing school, fun what house makes it any different, oh, yeah. different from no, going to a grocery it's store or on the street or a coffee oh, shop or a restaurant? There isn't a difference. Oh, I, got an I don't trust from people from anymore. Anyone walking by in a car sitting two seats over, I don't trust and anyone what did in he any say? circumstances. Noises, I wonder if it was a car. Why are there so many sirens? Was that a gunshot or just a bang of the dumpster or the crash of metal? Or maybe a pop of an old banged up car driving by? Or at least that's what I hope. I try to lay down at night and escape the real world, but I can't. It's almost worse as I try to fall asleep. Sleep paralysis haunts my nights. All my fears and anxieties that have been pushed down throughout the day come full force in the most most nights paralyzing me in fear, not allowing me to sleep.